But turn back now to Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven, it should be heavens, plural, that's the whole universe, and the earth. That leads me to believe that he created the whole vast universe at the same time he created this earth. And again, I say it was unfinished, but as far as it went, it was absolutely perfect. Everything you find that is described, uh, that is the condition of it, that God ever created, it says that God beheld all he had made, and behold, it was very good. Always, whatever God has created is very good, never the other way. Now, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was. And that word was, should be translated, became. That it, it, it wasn't at the time God created it, but it was later. It became without form and void. Those Hebrew words are tohu and bohu. They mean waste and empty and... Now, wait, what is that word? Degenerated? It's the word I wanted a while ago. Uh, decayed. Decay is something that has happened after a thing was made. It could not be made and, and first created in a decayed form. Now, our moon is a, decay, a, a whole mass of decay. We know now we have pictures from Mars. And I knew what we would have because it's in the Bible. And if, if we ever get to Jupiter, to Saturn, and so on, and I, I don't know, I believe that they're planning to get unmanned uh, uh, spacecraft to those places and uh, with cameras to send back pictures. You'll find the same thing. There is no life there. There are no people there. I don't know how many of you have been looking at these uh, uh, sort of movies that they're putting on television about uh, uh, the um, uh, flying saucers. But uh, from things that I have read, there's no doubt but the people have seen something. And they don't all agree on what they have seen, but uh, men who are responsible uh, pilots for l large uh, airlines have seen things like that, but they can't explain it. Now, they're trying to lead people to think that maybe that could be uh, from a, a spacecraft from some other planet. Well, hogwash. I can tell you from what the Bible says that it is not from any other planet. I think there is something, and people see it, but I think that the government wants to keep it a secret, and therefore they've assigned it to the, uh, the uh, uh, Air Force to try to investigate, and they've allowed these uh, pictures to go, and they've, they've had a little cooperation from the government in that, in order to not only throw us off the track, but other governments. Now, I'll tell you what I believe it is, what I've heard, and it's got to be something, and it's got to be something like this. I think that it is some new something that the Air, uh, uh, not, the, not the Air Force, but the, uh, uh, well, the Navy, and it has, uh, they have their own Air Force, you know, in the Navy, and I think it's the United States Navy are producing something. If you stop to think with jets, a round circular thing with jets in every direction, they could make it go up or down, they could go this way and then turn almost instantly the other way, not like our airplanes now do. And uh, I think it's a, it's a thing that is practical. Well, that's just a little human interest by the wayside as I go along. And uh, I don't know whether you look at those pictures or not. I, I usually do, because uh, they're only pictures for entertainment. And uh, however, uh, I think that uh, the things that these men from the Air Force are finding that you see in the picture may be based on actual fact. They, they may give the people who make the movies uh, that much information.